Hi YouTube, 2 e 0 FNM, back again with another video. Radiolity kindly sent me the QT60 for review. So it's going to be a bit of a long video, so go and grab a coffee and uh, without further ado, we'll jump straight into it. Right, so let's have a look what's in the box. So it's a surprise for both of us. So, manual, looks very well written. We'll uh, have a proper look in the review. What we got in here? Ah, the programming cable. Yeah, nice. So we'll have a look at the programming software as well. So we've got a programming cable, nice mounting bracket, because I'm going to have this under my shelf. So that's the mounting bracket, looks like adjustable. So we can have it at different degrees, which is nice. What else have we got? We have the power cable. Looks like quite thick gauge. This does 60 watts, I think. So that looks pretty good. Nice tinned uh, ends to him. So that's good. Uh, some fixings. So yes, we have the thumb screws for the side of the radio. Looks like a microphone clip. Um, and just odds and ends in there. What else have we got? This is the microphone. Yeah, nice. I like that. That's a nice microphone. Obviously, in the full review, I'll have a look um, properly at it all. And we've got a uh, RJ45 type connector on that side. So that's everything in that side. So I'll see if I can do this one-handed. I'm trying not to damage anything. I'll just tip it up like that. Wow, it's a beast. It's a big, it's a big radio. Let me just move the box out of the way. Wow, it's a big, big radio. You can see my hand there. Look how big it is. That is that's a big radio. Oh, nice. Wow, it's a lot bigger than I expected. I really didn't think it was that big. Uh, you can see my hand there. Um nice big heat shrink uh, heat shrink heat sink on the back uh, antenna port uh, PA speaker programming cable power cable let's just slip the bag off it wow that's nice wow that is nice oh yeah I like that nice clicky knob but yeah that's the unboxing of the radio uh, quality uh, seal we will be popping the, the cover off this and doing a, uh, a little mod for it we'll see that later on in the video but absolutely beautiful radio I like I love the look of it but there you go there's the unboxing and there are all the bits that you get with it So we've got it out the uh, we've done the unboxing so we've seen what we've got in the box so uh, this is just a, a, a literally out the box a bit of a closer look build quality some of the very basic knobs that I can see um, so yeah really really I'm, when I first unboxed it you might have noticed I was quite surprised at the size of it and I was clicking the button and I was thinking that is fun you know I, I don't know if you saw my Alinko DR135 review um, but that button I had to use super glue on it because it was really fragile this one no I don't think that'll ever happen that is uh, solid really really nice um, so yeah we've got obviously a frequency here uh, the band here so this is a 10 meter radio out of the box so we will be modding this as well to give us 12 meters and 11 meters uh, definitely 11 meters and I think it's 12 as well but we'll, we'll be doing the mod as well um, so here we've got the on, off and volume. Uh, then we at the back knob here, we have the uh, RF power. So I think this will do up to 60 watts. As I say, I'll, I'll know a bit more in the full review, but this is just straight out of the box. So you've got a variable uh, output power. And then this is your RF gain at the front. Um, and then we've got the clarifier at the front here on this 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 knob here So sort of in the middle of the dot there. I'm guessing's in the middle um, And then we've got the squelch here at the back. So that's the squelch uh, knob at the back, but I'm, I'm really liking this 
um, that, that's solid, really solid. Um, like I say, I don't know if the buttons light up or not, or, or, or exactly what it's like. It's straight out of the box, but build quality seems fantastic. So we've got a metal metal case, uh, plasticky front, high quality plastic. I think that's quite nice. Uh, we've got a big heat sink on the back, so obviously keep it cool. And then we have the uh, normal three pin power cable. I think that's quite a standard power cable, so that's really good to see. Uh, antenna port, and then we've got the uh, the speaker and the PA and the data port. So I have got the data cable as well, so we'll have a look at the programming cable later on. But that is it, and then we've got the speaker at the bottom there. So um, it does come with a mounting bracket, so I'm going to have this under the shelf. So the bottom firing speaker will work perfectly for me. Um, but obviously if you've got it on a mounting bracket you're going to have space under there if you do decide to have it you know whichever way you want or you can plug an external speaker in of course um but fantastic first impressions absolutely love it uh, such a nice radio uh, obviously we've got the security tags on the side there so we're gonna to have to break those when we do the mod um because obviously i want to get 12 meters on it if nothing else and then at least have a and see what 11 meters is like and see what it receives like on there so definitely going to do it and then we've got the normal rj45 uh, microphone port there so first impressions build quality is fantastic really nice weight to it and it's massive it's a really big radio like i said in the thing you can see uh, the size of it uh, compared to my hand so we'll just have a quick look at the, the microphone now i really like this microphone um it's, it's 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 it just feels nice it doesn't feel cheap to me um and you've got the up and down buttons on the top and then the microphone hanger at the back uh, very simple you know and then you've got your your rj45 style uh, connector on it for the front um, i'm sure there'll be a wiring diagram somewhere that you'll be able to wire up your own microphones if you wanted to um and then obviously the little port there for the microphone so uh, yeah not a lot to say about the microphone but it feels feels nice in the hand obviously not not tried it yet this is just a literal first impression of it um but yeah feels really good so what we'll do next is we're going to mod the radio um and then we'll we'll see but i'll tell you what before we do that let's just plug it in uh, i've got the power cable here so let's just plug it in let me uh, just make sure i've got enough so let's have a look what it's like. Uh, let me turn the power supply on. Right, okay, so there we go. So there, that, that's what it looks like, really crisp. Um, I'm just gonna have to get a bit more cable out like that so we get in there we go, that's a bit better, isn't it? Sorry if we've got a bit of reflection on the light. Um, but yeah, so this is just locked to 10 meters at the moment. So that's how it comes out of the box. Um, you can see the, the band changing over here. But we're just on 10 meters so that's how it comes out of the box obviously i've not got an antenna in it at the moment but i love this display sorry about the reflection yeah i love this display um you've got on the top there you've got your signal strength then you've got your power meter and then you've got your sw out the bottom nice big display really nice easy to read uh, i think you can customize this where it says qt60 i think you can customize that um, but as I say, I don't know yet. You know, as I say, I've done a little bit of reading before I got the radio just to sort of get an idea. But yeah, really nice. Let's see if them buttons, like, it's hard to see with so much bright light, but I'll let you know in the main sort of review part when I've had a couple of days to play with it. But yeah, you really, I like this. And then I think you push that, yeah. And then you can select it to the different frequencies so you can step it up however you want. But anyway, that's it. Just first impression. So what we'll do, we'll next we'll uh, we'll do the mod. Right. So let's uh, let's do the mod. So to do the mod, basically we turn it upside down so the speaker's on the top, and we have to undo the two screws on this side and the two screws on that side. Um, so let's do that. Um, right. So here we go. So now we're going to have to break these seals. Break that side. OK, 
Okay, so let's open the top. Just got to be careful of that. Uh, oh, nice. So that's the inside of the radio. So just trying to show you without what we need to do. So basically, let me bring this a bit closer. So you can see here, there, there is a little white cable. So we need to break that and there's a little jumper here. And the jumper is in one and two and we need to put that jumper on two and three. So I don't know how well I can do this whilst filming it. So what I'll do is I will just do that um, like I say, hopefully you can see that on the screen there. There's a little jumper there. Um, you just take that off and then clip that, to cut that white wire there. So let me just do that. As I say, it might be difficult for me to sort of uh, show you on, on the camera whilst I'm doing it. So let me just see if I can undo it with my fingers. Nice, I think I can. So that's now on two and three. And then let's use our little uh, cutter. Hope it's the right one, because there's no going back. I suppose you could solder the wire if you needed to. So there we go, we broke that wire now. So that's it. So now this should be modded. So let me bring it up to the camera again. You can, you might be able to see, I've moved that jumper to the two and three, and um, I've cut that white cable. So let's just, we won't fasten all the screws on, but we'll just turn it on and see what happens. plug that in there and let's see what it does turn the power supply on so let's see the difference there you go 27 megs so if we press band now 10 meters there oh yeah for 24 so we do have 12 so if I go up to yeah so we've got 10 meters here and then we've got the 12 meters and obviously we've got 11 meters, so absolutely fantastic. So for science, let's just plug an antenna into it. Hopefully I'm gonna be able to get this in the shot. Like I say, it's a bit of a rough and ready sort of review this bit, but we'll, uh, right, here we go. So we've got the antenna in now. So we wanna, let's try triple five. Five. So there's triple five. I don't know if, if there's any activity going on at the moment. Oh, I know. This light gives me a bit of interference. Let me turn this light off. I don't know if you can hear. Nice, yeah, I like it. And obviously if we wanted to... You know, we could have a tune about like that. As I say, I don't know if there's much going on. I've got loads of lights going on, so that's probably why we're getting interference. Uh, I've got a big fluorescent light. But anyway, this is just, a, just to see the mod works. So yeah, that's the mod. So yeah, stay tuned for the actual... I've give, I've, what I'll do is give me a couple of days um, to play with it properly, and then I'll, I'll come back and give you my general thoughts. But first impressions, fantastic radio. Uh, really, really like it. Um, so yeah, give me a couple of days to play with it, then I'll come back to you with a, a obviously with the power of editing, you'll get to know straight away. Um, but I'll come back to you, and then we'll see what my actual full review is. Then we'll also look at the programming software, because I'm guessing we can do quite a bit on there maybe. We'll, we'll have a look. But thank you for watching this bit. So I've had the radio a couple of days now and I absolutely love this radio. I cannot tell you how much I love this radio. It is fantastic. Um, I've had a right good play with it. I've, I've messed around with it. It's really, really simple. Uh, the, the display is absolutely beautiful. One thing I don't like or wish they would have done would have been able to change the colours of the display. Uh, so as far as I can see, that's the only colour, which is the orange. Um, 
but it's really simple to use. We'll just have a quick sort of look on the manual. What I'm going to do um, is I'm going to put a link on, I'm going to write a full website review as well with loads of nice pictures and everything for you to have a look at and a, a, you know a full write up and I'll put the manual on the website so if you wanted to read the manual yourself before purchasing you, you can do that as well. Um, but it's really really simple radio to operate, um, there's really not a lot to it. Um, so use every button on the front here has a dual function so I'm hoping that you can see it. I could just tilt it up like this for example if we t if we take the noise blanker there so if I click NB NB goes on so that's noise blanker noise blanker off and then noise blanker on but underneath it says high cut so if I hold that button you see we've got HIC on the display hopefully you can see that try and bring it a bit further I'm trying to get the reflection off the screen so yeah every button has a, a, a dual function so we'll take the high cut off noise blanket on and off um, we've got Roger bleep if you if you're that way inclined um, you basically oh that's the beep button so if you hold that on that's the key beep so when you get the radio it'll be on so when you change channels you get that beep but if you hold it just that beep it'll go off um, and then if you just short press it and then this is the Roger bleep so you've got like we'll have a look on the programming software but you've got loads of different Roger bleeps and you can actually make your own Roger bleep which is which is pretty good if you like that kind of thing obviously for amateur radio we're not bothered but this this will do you know obviously 10 and it does 12 meters as well so I, as you saw in the in the earlier part of the video we modded that um, and uh, you've got six memory channels in this radio that's another thing would be good if you could have more than six memory channels um, but you can so I'm trying to explain this so you've got like six memory channels in the actual radio so you can see it says M here so you've got the six memory channels you can see it goes from one to six here um, and those are those are the memory channels but you also have banks so I think you've got I think seven banks um, so what I've also done is I've programmed on the uh, on the code plug the UK40 um, UK40 FMCB channels and the SEPT frequencies uh, 40 channels as well. Um, so I've done that already and I'll put that on the website for you. Um, so obviously if you want it, you, you're more than welcome to, to download it. Um, but you can see here we've gone basically... Yeah, it looks like there's more than seven. We'll have a look on the programming uh, software. But on bank C... Is where I've got the set frequencies. I think these are the set ones, yeah. So these are the set frequencies that I've programmed in. So in theory, you don't just have six memory channels. You've got like seven, eight banks of 40. So you've actually got loads, of, you know, but what I was trying to explain is on the front, you've got like, I suppose these could be classed as six, um, you know, quick access memories, I suppose is probably the better way of explaining that. Um, but like, we're in bank C at the moment so these are the sets that I've programmed in using the programming software if we go to D this is the uh, UK 40 channels that I've programmed in uh, and obviously you could use any of the other banks these are just pre-programmed I've not messed with those but you can put whatever you want in those um, you know in whatever banks you want to use uh, you know obviously you could have like bank A for all your 12 meter stuff um, you know but it's as I say it's really simple to move about so um, if you press the the function but well you know this is the channel selector uh, but it's also a push button so if we push it um, you can change you know whether you're wanting to go in 10 hertz 100 you know 100 kilohertz whatever whatever setting you want to be in uh, and then you can just change it like that um, so that's like a quick way of doing it and then press it again obviously it'll change there you know to make it quicker or you can even go to there and do it a lot lot faster through it so it's really simple to get around this radio it's not not complicated at all um, the, the menus in this radio very simple um, like I say the, the, the menus this radio is not complicated at all to use you'll find it really easy every button here has a dual function uh, one thing I probably should have mentioned if we go back on to say the let's just say the UK 40 channels that we've put on there if you press this button here the frequency uh, dis display button there it will change it so it'll be the channel name so obviously if you wanted it on channel 19 you know you could just put it like that <coughs> excuse me or you could press the frequency to, to read out the frequency if you wanted to 
Um, so really, really good. And then obviously if you hold the menu button, you have all these options in here. Like I say, I'm gonna leave the manual in on my website where you can actually look at it in detail, um, but it's really not complicated at all. Um, you know, it's very, very self-explanatory. Um, you know, you've got Echo if you really want to. Um, it's really, really simple. Um, you know, mic, mic gain, you know, you've got, you, you can have an electri uh, electric microphone and dynamic microphone. Um, you know, th those are the sort of settings you can do. Um, but yeah, really, really impressed with it. It's a beautiful radio. As I say, I've been using it for a good couple of days now and it works fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, these buttons do light up at night. I think we said earlier I would, I would check that out. So uh, when it's dim in this room, those buttons light up. These ones don't seem to, but these ones do. Whether it's sort of a, a bit of bleed through from the display onto those buttons or not, but you can see those at night. Um, and the auto squelch is something I'd love to mention as well. That works absolutely brilliantly. So um, you can see there AQ is, is selected. So if we went into the menu here, and uh, where is it going to be there you go so we've got asq there so if we press it you've got up to five or is it no uh, yeah up to nine settings of automatic squelch control i just leave that on number two um, and then what you can do is say we're on the fm channels now if i if i turn the squelch dial a little bit that that opens up the squelch and then you can manually change it and it shows on the display here so you can see it works there um, but if you want to use the auto squelch, all you have to do is take it down to the zero and then turn it a little bit more. And you can see ASQ is highlighted there, and now it's in automatic squelch, and you can adjust how how you know how much you want that to activate. But I found the second setting to work perfectly, so uh, that's how I, I set that up. Uh, works fantastic. Uh, another thing I've noticed with this radio is that I've been transmitting a bit. With I've had a few contacts. Um, and I've, I've had no hot spots on the radio. The, 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 even the heat sink at the back doesn't really get hot. Um, that's really good. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's a real plus point. And I don't know if you saw my Alinko DR135 video, but uh, as I said, you needed super glue to be able to uh, to fix the knob on the Alinko, where this one, I, I, I have no, no doubt that this will last a long, long time. It's it's It works perfectly. There's no... no uh, you know, you can tell the build quality is there with that, so that's absolutely brilliant. So what I'll do now is I'm just going to uh, let you listen to a couple of clips. So what I've done is I've um, done an upper sideband and an FM recording. So I turned the power right down on this this radio and had my 7300 with the SD card in it and then recorded my audio onto the SD card. So uh, I'll let you listen to a couple of those now. To Echo Zero, Foxtrot November Mike. This is doing an audio test on upper sideband, upper sideband audio test. This is 2 Echo 0, Foxtrot November, Mexico, with the Radiolity QT60. This is 2 Echo 0, Foxtrot November Mike, doing an FM audio test on the Radiolity QT60. So this is 2 Echo 0, Foxtrot November Mike, 2 Echo 0, Fox November Mike, doing an audio test, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... So as you can tell, that uh, that sound, I think it sounds really, really nice on air. It's really, really good. Um, and then, you know, what we'll do now is I'll just, I, I did a, I managed to capture a little bit of video. I didn't want to make this video really, really long, but I managed to capture a little bit of footage of uh, a, a very short QSO I have. Um, so I'll let you listen to that now. Yeah, it was two Echo Zero Foxtrot November Mike. Ah, uh, that might make more sense. Two Echo Zero Foxtrot November Mike 59. Yeah, you're also five and nine. Thank you very much. Name is Matt Mike Alpha Tango Tango. Ah, uh, send me three. Take care. Name is Martin. Uh, November one was Kiki, wasn't it? There you go. Beautiful. And as you can see, I, I, it, it works fantastic. It, you know, speaker in this as well is absolutely fantastic. Sounds beautiful, the speaker in this in this radio. Um, so I'm just trying to see if there's anything that I've uh, I've missed, but I don't think so. I've made a couple of notes here, and I think I've covered basically what I I wanted to say. 
Um, but yeah, the only downside, like I said, is this, this display colour. I would have expected that you would have been able to change that. But that is literally the only downside I've found. Um, build quality is fantastic. Functionality is great. Really simple to use. S audio sounds great on transmit. Uh, the audio on the receive is, is fantastic. The speaker quality is really good. Doesn't get too hot. Um, absolutely beautiful. This is a complete keeper for me. I'll, I'll, I'll treasure this radio. I really, really like it. So, uh, yeah, thank you for watching. So what we'll do now is we'll just jump and I'll, I mean, obviously this video is getting a bit long, but I'll jump on the computer and we'll do a quick uh, couple of minutes just showing you the programming software that's free, by the way. So you can download that from Radio uh, and you can program your, your radio, no problem. And it's uh, quite simple to you. So we'll show you the, uh, the programming software now. Right, okay, let's have a quick look at the uh, the programming software now. So as I say, I'll do a very brief look at, at the programming software. So you just install this like any other software, basically, and then you just need to tell it what communication port you're on. So mine's COM port 10. Obviously, you can look in your device manager once you plug in the, the Radiodity programming cable uh, into the back of the radio and into your PC, you know, tell it what COM port you are. And then what you can do then is you can then read from the radio so now what it's going to do is it's obviously reading the information that, that's already on the radio, so you could always save that as a backup. Um, so obviously you've got a you know a, a backup of the settings before you've even changed anything. That's always a good a good way to do things. So we'll just wait for it to read from the radio. This is probably taking a little bit longer than 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 it would do, um, because I've been obviously messing with this and I've added a load of frequencies and and settings to it. Um, you know, so it's a bigger code plug than it would be, you know, as you get it from the factory. But as soon as it says uh, complete, then you can just click OK. So now it's read all the information from the um, the radio and it says PC end on the actual radio. So you can just turn it off, turn it back on again. And then what you can do is let's just have a look, at the, you know, briefly what we have. So we've modded it. So we have the CB 247150 to 31050 megahertz. But if you've not modded it, you probably just have the HF 28 to 296990. Um, these are the six memory channels we spoke about. These are just the very quick access uh, channels that you can do. For example, I programmed in one of the 10 meter repeaters there. So you can put the offset and everything here. Um, you know, when you could change, it up, you know, the settings for that particular frequency, uh, and obviously got channel 19 on CB, triple five, you know, just messing around with stuff I like to listen to, uh, but you can change stuff here, no problem at all. Now the bands here, so you've got you've got A to L, and there's 40 channels in each bank. So if we went to K, there your 40 channels, so you can just program them however you see fit. Um, you know, as I say, I've not messed with anything and the code plug that I've been working on, um, I've put on my website, so I'll leave a link in the description for that. Um, but for example, if we go to C, this is the SEPT frequencies, the EU SEPT fre frequencies that I've put, I've put in here. And then in D, I've got the UK 40 channels in there. But apart from that, I've left it as it, as it is. But you can, you know, add this, you, you know, change it however you see fit. Uh, options and features. So this is where you can change. You can see you might have noticed in the video I had M6EB as my, you know, in, underneath the signal meter. Uh, so it's only five characters. That's why I couldn't use 2E0 FNM because obviously I'm a character short. So I just put M6EB, but you obviously put whatever you want in there. Uh, and you can change, you know, things here, you know, radio wide, if you will. You can You can add things and change things there. So really, really simple. Um, there's not really an awful lot to to look at, um, and then here you've got your. This is this is this I found quite interesting. Um, <laughs> not something we use on ham radio, but obviously if you're buying this for a CB, like I say, check you with your country's license conditions about using non-type approved radios. I mean, you know, you do you whatever you want. I don't transmit on CB, but I'll, I do like listening to it, so that's why I modded it. Plus, you get twelve meters, so that's another reason. Um, but you can make your own Roger beep, so that's just an example. Um, I don't think it's coming through on the audio. Uh, let me just change that uh, so you can hear it coming through the speakers. So here we go. And then you can check, you know, these are like pre-programmed ones, like that. 
um but you can make your own so you can like you know choose the frequency whatever you want um you know it won't let you play it until you've saved it i think you you put in the frequencies here and then you save it and then write it to the radio um and then obviously if you wanted to use my code plug from the website you just use open uh, so we don't want to save it because i've already got my code plug here so let me just find my code plug so it's here so there's my code plug there so we've we've added that uh, and you can obviously do your weather channels as well if you want and then all you need to do is then write it to the radio so if you've used other radios you know you'll be probably quite familiar with this um, but if you're getting it just from my website, feel free to download it. Link in the description. Just get the code plug, install the free software, uh, open the file in that top left corner, uh, select the code plug. It'll you know it'll have all my settings in there. You might want to change your call sign like we just showed earlier to your own, um, and then just write it to the radio. Um, and as you can see, it's just it's just sending it to the to the radio now. And then once it's complete, it'll just say OK, and then you just turn the radio off and on again. So really simple. So we just press OK, and then we turn the radio off, turn the radio back on again, and we're we're back back. So hope that helped. Quick look at the programming software. Really simple to use. Not a lot to it, but you know you'll be absolutely fine. So thank you for watching. So thank you very much for watching. Um, this is the review of the Radio Auditor QT60. Absolutely love this radio. So I've also made a written review on my website m6eb.com. I'll leave a link uh, in the description to the, the full web review, also at where you can purchase this radio if you're interested. Um, so yeah, always check the description for for all the links that you need for that we've talked about in the video. So thank you very much for watching. Please leave a comment. Let me know you know what you thought of this radio. Um, absolutely love it really really good radio um, and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you like it and uh, comment and subscribe so until the next time I've been 2E0 FNM and you've been very kind to watch 7.3